Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the mummy tag or the mum tag, depending on where you're from. Um, I haven't actually been tagged in this, I'm just kind of jumping on the bus I guess. Um, I've seen a lot of mums do this on YouTube so I thought I would give it a go. So I have the questions on my iPad and there's 20 of course. So <laughs> let's get going. Question number one. Are you a stay-at-home mum or a working mum? Currently, I'm on maternity leave because my little girl is only seven months old and I'll be on maternity leave until January, February time. Um, kind of undecided what's gonna happen. I will definitely be going back to work of some sort, but only part-time and I'm not really sure what I'll be doing or where I'll be. Um, a bit up in the air at the moment of where I'll be working and which leads on to question two do you have it any other way yes I would absolutely love to be a stay-at-home mum um unfortunately we're looking at buying a house in the next year or two so I need to have an income to cope with that who knows what will happen in a few years time though who knows Number three, do you co-sleep? Kind of. Um, she's going into her own room this weekend. Um, at the moment she's in a Chico next to me, like co-sleeper, it attaches to your bed. So she's in that, she's not in our bed. We've never done the co-sleeping in our bed. I'm too nervous to do it. I do worry that we would roll on her or the duvet would come up and things like that. So this just seemed like a really really good compromise and she sleeps really well in it so there's never been an issue what is your one must-have item for your baby hmm at the moment probably her mama's and papa's seat kind of like a bumbo it's got a little tray they sit on it they can't get out of it because their bum's lower Sorry, she's done for a nap. I thought she was. She's okay. That's really easy because she's rolling around. She's trying to crawl at the moment. She's not getting very far. But it's somewhere that I can put her and know she'll stay there. So if I'm cooking food or if I just need to like run to the loo quickly, I can put her in that with a little tray on, a few toys, and she can't escape. So I would say right now that's that's the best item. Um Five, how many kids do you plan on having? Again, this is really up in the air. We would like, we would definitely really like another baby at some point, so we definitely will hope for two. It just depends on timing, financial situations, where we're living, that we'll decide on whether the third one comes along. But I'm fairly confident that if we have two, so one more, I will be fine. I will be fine with the possibility of not having a third, but right now, I would not be fine with not having the possibility of a second. I'm an only child, so I'm not judging like only children. It's just there's something in me that needs to have another child. So hopefully that happens. Um, <laughs> number six, date night. How many nights a month? <gasps> zero. Big fat zero at the moment. Yeah. I don't really know why. We have four grandparents that would absolutely look after her at any time, but we just... <sighs> kind of run out of time. The days go really, really fast. Like the seven months that we've had her have just gone crazy fast. So it's not like, we're not even the people that's like, oh, I can't bear to leave her for a night. Like it's only a few hours, it would be absolutely fine. We just kind of haven't got round to it. It's something we've always been meaning to do, but we've just not ended up doing it. But that's definitely something that we need to do. We are going out the end of the month actually to a gig. So that kind of counts. Yeah. 
we'll add that to the schedule. Seven, your child's favourite show. So she's only seven months, she doesn't really understand a lot, you know, favourites and stuff like that, but there is one show. The theme music gets her, the characters' voices get her, she adores it. She literally goes from like, ah, just entranced for like 14 minutes, however long it's on, and that is Paw Patrol. Luckily, it doesn't bug me too much, so I don't mind having it on in the morning, just while I'm making cups of tea and stuff like that. That's her absolute favourite at the moment. But saying that, when we're out in shops, she doesn't really recognise the merch, you know, like the cuddly toys and stuff like that. She doesn't, like, sort of go towards them because they're from Paw Patrol. So I think it is just the bright colours, the movements, the noises, because she's still really young. Um, eight. Name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using. There is actually only one thing that we never ended up using and that was a snowsuit. So she was a February baby. She was due on the 23rd of February and she was due on the, uh, born on the 27th. So we thought February that's going to be really cold. March is normally quite cold as well. Like we've been known to have snow at that time. So we bought a snowsuit. And I personally think it was probably one of the warmest February, March, Aprils that I can remember. And she never ended up in this snowsuit. She was quite a warm baby as well, so I didn't want to overheat her. So yeah, it's still got the tags on and it's so cute. It's like that big, it's so cute and tiny. Oh, she never wore it. I kind of wish I'd just put her in it to take a photo, but I didn't. Um, Number nine, your child's favorite food, sweet potato. Used to be broccoli. She'll still go crazy on the broccoli. She likes a bit of broccoli. Sweet potato fries though, oh, they're to die for in her opinion. We do baby led weaning, so she has what we have. And if you put sweet potato fries in front of her, they're literally just, yes. Not too bad, because vegetables, good for you. Uh, 10, how many cars does your family have? We have one car and my husband has a van for his work because he's in the building trade. So one car. Weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now. Wow, okay. Weight gain before pregnancy? Okay, I'm just gonna say what I gained while I was pregnant. I, <laughs> I gained a lot of weight. I gained nearly three stone. She was a big baby. Well, she wasn't a massive baby, but she was more than they thought I would have. They thought I was gonna have about six and a half, seven pound baby, and my baby turned out to be eight pounds nine. So she was quite a large baby. But yes, I did put on nearly three stone. I've lost two stone and a few pounds. So I, st I still have just under a stone, and that's at seven months post baby and that's mainly because I'm quite lazy and haven't really done an awful lot. I go through fits and starts where I do like a month of exercising two or three times a week and eating really healthy and then I go through two months of eating everything in sight and just claiming that I have a teething baby trapped to me so I can't move or exercise. So I could have done it. I absolutely could have got back in shape. It's all my own fault that I'm not. But I'm okay with where I am. I know in time I will be there. Yes. I'm not okay with where I am, really. Dream holiday. Ooh, what number is this? 12. Dream holiday with your kids. It's got to be Disney World, hasn't it? I'm already planning, like, oh, in five years' time, let's rent a villa in Florida. Let's go to all the parks. She'll love it. It's for me, really. But, um... Yeah, it's got to be Disney. I, I, where else would be a dream to take a child? Can you just imagine their face? Like, just lit up, seeing all their favourite characters and the rides. Yeah. It's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? Dream holiday without your kids. I've always, I bet this is like the main answer. I've only watched a few of these tags. I, oh, to be on one of those little like 
huts in the sea. I think you can do it in like Mauritius and Bali and places like that, Bora Bora. But you're like on stilts in the sea and you're staying on these really cute like wooden hut villa things. Just me and the hubby. Little boat to the restaurant every night. Yes, that's the dream people. 14, how has your life changed since your baby is born? My life is almost unrecognizable. In a good way though. I used to be a really introverted person. The only time I was out of myself and in people's faces was at work. Not really willing to say what I do at the moment whilst I'm on maternity leave. Um, but since having her, I find that I'm a lot more outgoing. I'll talk to strangers when they talk to me. I go places by myself. I never would have gone to a cafe or even shopping by myself. I really wouldn't have done that. I would have gone with a friend. And now because I have this little person, I feel like she's kind of, she breaks the ice a little bit. And I'm okay going out by myself with her. So that part of my life has definitely changed. The other part of my life that's definitely changed is I used to go out quite often, like evenings, drinking, merriment. I don't do that anymore. That's something, again, going back to the date night, kind of need to get back into that. She's okay on a few hours without me. Other than that, Probably hasn't changed that much. Uh, 15. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see her giggle. Oh, the giggle. She does it mainly with her dad, it's true, but watching them and this giggle she gives, it's the like, oh, yes, heart melting just at the thought, you see? 16. Where do you shop for your kids? Mainly clothes wise I'm taking it. Mainly Gap and H&M. They're my two like go-to places. H&M um, stuff only like a few bits. They don't wash fabulously some of their stuff. They're really good. They were really really good for summer stuff like rompers and things like that they were good but I've noticed their winter stuff's a little bit thin so I love Gap it's my favourite um oh that's weird 17 favourite makeup and skincare products I could go on about this all day as it is part of my career <sighs> favourite makeup do we mean like Particular makeup or like items. So like my favourite makeup product that I couldn't live without would be a eyebrow pomade to fill my brows in. If we're talking about a branded product, it would be the Rimmel brow. Brow with me. Brow. Something that's like a duo, you get the wax pomade thing and the powder. That I love. Favourite skincare product. Ooh. I have lots of favourite skincare products. But probably the be or end all would be the Elizabeth Arden 8 Bar Cream. Yes. I use it on everything. 18. Huggies or Pampers? We're in the UK so Huggies don't exist here anymore except on their pull-ups and she's not in the pull-up stage at all so if we're going pampers or anything else I'm going pampers the only ones that she doesn't leak in a night on I really wanted to be the girl that loved the Audi nappies Audi, lap Audi nappies do not love my daughter 19 have you always wanted kids yes
20. Best part about being a mum. Probably seeing, oh, there's lots of things, isn't there? And they'll change as she gets older. Right now, probably seeing her little personality develop. She's quite a little diva, it turns out. I'm not really surprised there, to be honest. But yeah, it's just fun seeing her become a person with likes, dislikes, personality traits things like that a little sense of humor is starting to develop as well she's got a little smirk when she knows she's done something a bit funny or a bit naughty because she's quite mischievous as well but I would say at the moment that's the best part and obviously like seeing her happy and things but I think that comes into the personality is seeing like what makes her happy so yeah that is all 20 questions that's quite a long recording I've done whoops daisy so yeah thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below on any videos you would like me to do kind of searching around I will start doing vlogs I'm just a little bit afraid we need to get over that but yeah if there's any tags anything going around at the moment or anything you'd like from me then just comment below okay thanks for watching guys bye bye